You may have noticed we do a lot of bowing around here. We try to develop an attitude of respect, because what the Buddha teaches us is to respect our own potential for true happiness. That's something that the world tends to look down on and to deny. And so when we're bowing down to the Buddha, we're bowing down to the fact that human beings can find true happiness. And he's in a good example to take, and you want to respect that. Because otherwise it's so easy to get taken over by the attitude of the world, which is that happiness is something that you can gain through possessions or status. And particularly they want us to buy their particular things or to fight over the status that they offer. But where does that get us? It's denying the possibility for a genuine happiness, because as everybody knows, things disintegrate. Either they go or you go. And the same with status. It's all very fickle. And yet somehow they say Buddhism is pessimistic. Well, it's not pessimistic at all. It's very optimistic about the fact that human, human beings have this potential where they can develop their inner qualities and find true happiness as a result. So that's what you want to respect. So you, when you bow down to the Buddha, you're also bowing down to your own potential for true happiness. You want to look at what your attitude toward happiness is. And happiness, of course, we've talked about this before. It's not just running around grinning. It's having a sense of deep well-being inside. This is why we meditate, to find that potential within each of us. You look at the story of the Buddha's life, and he, he developed qualities that everybody can develop. That's how he gained awakening. That's how he gained release. So it's good to remember that story. Otherwise, we tend to live by other people's stories, and it's a good exercise to stop and ask yourself, okay, whose story am I following? Whose example am I following? The Buddha sets the example of someone who can find true happiness by digging within. Is that an example you want to follow? And to what extent is your life following that, and to what extent is it going after other ideas of happiness? It's good to reflect on this regularly. Because you think that happiness would be something that everybody would take seriously. We all want happiness of one kind or another. What kind of happiness is genuine? What kind of happiness really gives satisfaction? Very few people stop to think about that. So take the time as you meditate to think about what, where your happiness lies and what your ideas of happiness are where you really want to invest your time and energy to get the best results.